Hi student, so we have already learned the concept of depreciation. Our next step will be to learn the objectives of depreciation. What are we going to achieve by charging depreciation in our books of account? And then the determining factors of depreciation. What are the factors that are to be considered for calculation of depreciation? Let me explain these two concepts through an example. I'm preparing a combined trading and profit and loss account. Now why combined is because I'm, I'm just ignoring the gross profit. So there will be some elements of trading account and some elements of profit and loss account. We'll directly calculate the net profit, simply ignore the gross profit. So by sales, 60,000. Uh, for the sake of simplicity, I'm assuming that they are entirely cash sales. There are no credit sales included in these 60,000 rupees. Then two purchases, 20,000. Again, these are uh, purely cash purchases and salary 10,000 is fully paid. There is no outstanding salary included in 10,000. So it's fully cash paid salary. <coughs> so given this trading and profit loss account, we come to know that the net profit for this business is 30,000. Let us consider that this business is, a, uh, is owned by a stationary uh, guy who is running his stationary shop and apart from this i give you some more information that this person has a photocopy machine and he buys this machine for say 22000 rupees so this is a fixed asset for him because he'll be using this photocopy machine in his business to generate cash to generate sales so this is called as cost of assets so this is the first term we have learned where the uh, the price at which the asset is bought by the owner of the business is called as cost of asset. Next, <coughs> the economic life of this photocopy machine is four years. Now what is economic life? It is quite different from physical life. Economic life means how long this photocopy machine will be useful to the owner of the business. So physically this machine might, may, might light down for 100 years, but how long it will be useful, how long it will be working for the owner is four years. Hence, economic life is more important than physical life for calculation of depreciation. Next, estimated scrap value is equal to rupees 2000. That means once the useful life is over at the end of the fourth year, this machine can be sold as scrap for rupees 2000. So this is called as scrap values. Some people call scrap value as, like, as a residual value or salvage value also. Okay. Now, <coughs> next. So 22,000 minus 2,000, 20,000. Don't you think 22,000 is cash outflow? Because he's buying the asset, he has to shell out 22,000 rupees. And 2,000 is will be his cash inflow at the end of fourth year. So what is his net cost? His net cost is 22,000 minus 2,000, 20,000. So this net cost is better known as depreciable amount which means we have to depreciate 20,000 over a period of four years and not 22,000 because the net cost to this owner of photocopy machine is only 22,000. We are not going to write off 22,000. We are going to write off only 20,000 over a period of four years. And this is called as depreciable amount. Next. So if I divide 22,000 divided by four, I get 5,000, which is the annual depreciation. So 20,000 is the depreciation for the entire four years. And 5000 is depreciation for one year. This is called as depreciation. Now, since depreciation is a is an expense, although non-cash, it is an expense, it will be debited to our PNL account. So let us define what is depreciation here. Allocation of cost over its useful life. So we are going to allocate 5000. We are going to allocate 20,000 over the useful life of four years. And therefore, 5000 every year. Now, if I take this 5000 to our trading and PNL account, I say to depreciation 5000. So obviously the profit will drop by 5000. So this is a wrong amount. And now the new amount of profit is 25000. So by, by debiting depreciation to profit and loss account, we have reduced our profit from 30000 to 25000. So what are the objectives that we have achieved by doing all this? First, correct profit. Don't you think by charging depreciation on the debit side of trading and PNL account, we have arrived at correct amount of profit. Else we would have shown profit at 30,000, but now we are showing profit at 25,000, which is more accurate. Next, 
true position in balance sheet yeah now we bought the asset for 22000 after charging this depreciation we will say 22000 minus 5000 will be the value shown in the balance sheet for this photocopy machine so it's a true position shown in the balance sheet for this asset next arrangement of funds to replace asset so we are arranging funds to replace asset this is one of the most important concepts of depreciation uh, many students fail to understand this so let us spend more time on it <coughs> take a look at the pnl account once again don't you think by charging depreciation on the debit side of pnl account we have reduced profit from 30000 to 25000 as i told you earlier the sales purchases and salary they are all purely cash basis so don't you think 30000 is cash profit so although you have made a cash profit of 30000 you are showing profit of 25000 that means you have set aside 5000 out of 30000 yeah this is because so that you can you will setting aside 5000 every year for 4 years so that you are indirectly arranging funds of 20000 over a period of 4 years so that you will have 20000 at the end of fourth year of the useful life of this old asset so that you can easily replace this old asset by a new asset so basically by charging depreciation means you are setting aside some amount out of the existing profits to replace this asset at the end of useful life of this asset next cost of production yeah the depreciation on machine will be debited to manufacturing account if you are preparing a manufacturing account and therefore that will help us to calculate cost of production correctly so this is what we have learned the objectives it helps us to calculate correct profit true position in balance sheet arrange funds to replace the asset which is one of the most important points and it helps to calculate correct cost of production next so the factors that determine depreciation so in the previous example we said 22000 minus 2000 divided by 4 years gave us 5000 as the annual depreciation let us convert this into words we will get the formula for calculation of depreciation so 22000 is nothing but cost of asset 2000 is nothing but the scrap value divided by 4 years is nothing but the useful life of the asset which will give us depreciation so what are the determining factors of depreciation cost of asset scrap value and useful life these are the three factors which determine depreciation thank you so much